Hello guys, buddy person here. I have a, another video here. I am playing Slayer Pro on Powerhouse on Halo Reach, of course. Um, I finished this game with a pretty good score. Um, I'm not really a Halo MLG Pro by any means. I'm more of a team player who occasionally does make stupid decisions. So I have a really bad KD. As a result of that, I have like a zero point. 9-2 KD which obviously is really bad and I hope to improve on that um, still early in the Halo Reach campaign and well we'll see how things go um, that wasn't really the topic I want to talk about was KD and all that stuff because I believe KD shouldn't be something that commentators should really focus on it should be um the excitement of the gameplay and the topics they are discussing. Um, I'm talking about the beginning of my YouTube career and the progression of it and what I see coming in the future. So in the beginning, I was I started playing COD 4 for a bit, Call of Duty 4, amazing game. And I just went on YouTube because I've seen some videos before, like top 10 ways to be a noob in Halo, for example, and... I saw one, I typed in top 10 ways to be a noob in Call of Duty 4, and the first thing that comes up when you type that in is top 10 ways to be an a-hole in uh, Call of Duty 4 by X Cappy X 28 um, I watched it, felt, was very amused by it, it was a funny video, I still watch it every now and then, get some old kicks and giggles. And um, I looked on his channel for more videos because it was like an annotation saying go look at more videos and subscribe. And then I watched more videos and I got more interested. Why? What's stopping me from making these videos and getting as much subscribers as he did? And at the time he had like 10,000 subscribers I believe. Which was actually a pretty decent amount. And when I watched the video it had like 500,000 views. And um... And then one of his videos later on was Operation Hitman, which was him and Master Dazzle duking it out for, like, who could make the better video. But anyways, um, I was like, okay, I'm going to go buy a Dazzle. It's cheap. It works for my computer. And it's the only thing that you could really search in. Like, if you typed in how to record gameplay or anything on Xbox, it just came up, buy a Dazzle. So I bought a Dazzle. Um... My friends thought I was a complete nerd and dork for buying it, but then one of them actually bought one. And he was probably one of the strongest supporters, like saying he was stupid and all. His name is Z.I. Benz or Cheese Whiz 7. But it's all cool. And um, I started making videos. They weren't, they didn't get successful as much as I hoped. Um, it's a slow progress, I guess. A couple of them did get a couple of good chunk of views. Like my most viewed video has like 50,000 views. 30,000 views. Like I have a couple of videos that got over like 10,000, but I don't have the subscriber or viewer success like as of right now. And um, probably my best video to date was Fear. I bragged about it in the past. It's probably my greatest work, sadly. And well, not sadly. It was I enjoy. I didn't enjoy making it though because there was some hiccups with the actors and stuff. But then I saw my friend, Master Dazzle. Um, we actually got to be pretty cool friends, and we helped each other out with videos. I acted for him and gave him little ideas for videos and support. And then he bought a PBR. No, he didn't buy a PBR. He got, like, a PBR for his birthday, and I looked at the quality, and it's like, oh, wow. And then he made Vendetta, which was another great absolutely great machinima that I acted in it isn't really acting it's just like puppeteering if you know what puppeteering is you know what that is I'm not gonna explain it because I don't have the time um, but he said that the reason why it looks so good and turned out so well is because when he edits the quality of the PBR really helps out with the fi finished product so like when you zoom in on a dazzle all you see is pixelated garbage and that's not that doesn't look good and isn't appealing. So I went out and bought a PBR. I started doing Modern Warfare 2 commentaries at the time, and I I didn't like the sound of my voice at the time because it's 
this is like eight months ago. No, like six months ago, and it was a little squeaky, and now it's developed more. Um, it's not fully developed, I would guess. Um, but I started making more videos on that, on the PBR, and I never really got around to making like a full proper comedy mission. I feel like I'm sorry that if you heard creaking, that was my creaking chair, office chair, whatever. Um, what else, what else? But I haven't really made a comedy video. I'm planning on making a Black Ops launch day video because that got a lot of success for Mar I made Mar Modern Warfare 2 launch day video. It was comedy. It was on Dazzle Quality, so I'm planning on doing one of those. And I plan on... I don't know. I don't know if I'll... I'm debating making a second channel for just commentaries because most of you are subscribed for my machinimas. But if you believe I should be should make a second channel for commentaries, please tell me in the comment section below. The game is almost over. Um, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and if you aren't ready already, subscribe. Please. Thank you a lot.